potentially might be the birth vlog. We don't know yet. But I'd update the situation. It'll be nice for me to look back on this once baby's here. Because obviously at this stage we don't know whether I'm going to be having a c-section or whether or not I'm going to have a natural uh, birth. So I'll, I'll fill in. So a couple Fridays ago I had a scan. I've been having uh, frequent growth scans because of my medical conditions. Um, so yeah, we had one a couple of Fridays ago and they basically told us that baby was transverse so in layman's terms that's basically lying sideways which is not the position that baby should be in at this stage they they like for the baby to be head down with its head in the pelvis getting ready to make its entrance into the world um, and yeah it was lying sideways it was being lazy so that's not good because you can't go into natural labour with it lying sideways because obviously how can how can it come out that way and there's risk of cord prolapse there's risk of the the cord coming down first blocking off all the stuff that the baby needs obviously oxygen all, all that stuff um so the doctor said to us come back in a couple of weeks time if baby is still transverse, we may have to admit you straight away and do a C-section because we don't want to risk you going into labour on your own. And obviously, I've not gone into labour since then, thankfully. I'm 37 weeks today, exactly, and we're on our way to the appointment now. So we're going to find out if baby is still sideways, I'm praying it isn't, or if it's got its ass in gear and its head is down so it's crossed. yeah it's been all over the place to be honest because it's it's a smallish baby so it's had room to maneuver itself it's and been doing cartwheels yeah literally um and it, it it was doing that last night in bed so at this point there's a 50 50 chance it could be sideways or it could be head down but yeah, so if it is sideways, I'm going to be admitted into hospital today. So we've got my hospital stuff, my hospital bag, all prepared. But we're hoping that it'll be head down. They'll say, great, you can go home and just wait for labour to start naturally. Because ideally, that's what I would like. Um, but what will be, will be. So yeah, this could be the birth vlog if baby is sideways, because I'll be admitted. Uh, but if not, yeah, I'll I'll update afterwards depending on what the results are. But yeah, I want to get all this on camera um, and film little bits and bobs that I can look back on um, in the future. It's just so weird that we're so close to meeting our baby. It could be closer than we think, but we're hoping not. Yeah. <laughs> we're hoping that it'll stay in there a bit longer, <clears throat> do a bit more growing. How are you feeling? Nervous. Definitely. Yeah. I don't want you to have to be in hospital for days on end if you are admitted. Um, yeah, I don't want Before you even either. have the C-section. And yeah, I don't know, ideal situations, it's head down and we get told you can go home and wait for things to happen naturally. Yeah. And yeah. We're back. So it's a few hours later. We had a bit of a palaver with the appointment, basically. They booked the appointment wrong. I was seeing midwives today when I should have been having a growth scan um, and an appointment with the doctor. So they had to sort that out. So we're waiting ages. Um, but the good news is baby is head down. Yay. Um, baby is three fifths engaged at the moment the doctor thinks um, so that means that um, a good little portion of its head is in my pelvis um, it just has a, a little bit extra to go um, and then it'll be ready um, to come out so I'm 
officially, hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx it or anything, going to have the natural, but I say natural, I want an epidural, um, the natural um, birth that I've always out pictured myself, yeah, out the vagina, that I've always pictured myself having. I'll probably regret these words when I'm having contractions and I'm like, why didn't I just have a C-section? Um, but obviously because of the the post care of um, C-sections and stuff like that um, is a lot harder. So, well, it depends how much I tear and all that stuff, um, but I won't get into that because it'll I scare myself. Um, but yeah, really positive, even though we had to wait ages and it was a faff and they got it all mixed up with the appointments. Like the end result is that our baby is in the right position um, and yeah, they're, they're happy. Um, and we're happy, so we're getting a TGI um, <laughs> in a curry later, so I might end up um, inducing labour at this stage because I do like a, a spicy curry. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this will be a separate vlog to the birth vlog, I don't know. It depends how soon it, it all goes down. Uh, but yeah, we're both happy parents to be. Hello. We are on week 39. I look like a bit of a bug with these on actually. Don't look as cool as you. Um, but what? It's difficult. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Um, so yeah, we didn't really think we'd um, get this far to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're on week 39. Baby's still not here. Um, we're currently on our way to our, probably, it, it will be our last growth scan. Um, so we'll find out if baby's been growing accordingly to the to the chart and not dropped or anything like that which hopefully they haven't um so this will be the last time that we'll see the baby um in 2d before we see it in person and um, whenever that may be i did a, a prediction filter thing on tiktok and it said that baby was going to be born on the 18th which is today um i don't see it happening it would be nice um especially it would be nice if it decided to show itself whilst we're at the hospital so we don't have to make an extra journey. Yeah, especially with petrol prices at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so it's just becoming so, so close, but we just don't know how close it, this baby could make us wait until 42 weeks, who knows, but I doubt that I'd want to go that far overdue I'd, with uh, the medical conditions and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do an update after the scan to let you know um, the growth and what they say. So we're back. Um, so a lot happened during that um, appointment. Um, do you want to talk, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> do, do I want to say? Yeah. Um, baby's not been growing quite as much as they'd like. So they've decided to induce Ashley on Sunday. So they gave her a sweep while we were in. Which wasn't that bad. I'd read horror stories um, on the peanut app that I'm on. People saying it was really painful and really uncomfortable, that it was like a smear test and I really hate smear tests. Um, so I was expecting it to be really uncomfortable, um, but it really wasn't it was that bad. So bad. No. But yeah, and then, then uh, we, were, we were hooked up, well, Ashley was hooked up to a monitor and they monitored baby's heartbeat and movements for a little while just to check that they were okay and that they could, they were happy for them to wait until Sunday before the inducer and that was all fine. So now we just wait until Sunday when they might stick a balloon up there or a little tampon with some hormones on it. <laughs> yeah, so since... Um when she did the sweep, she basically said that my cervix is still very much closed. Um, closed for business. Yeah, closed, which is obviously rubbish. I'd rather it start dilating on its own before needing to be induced, but hey ho. I have had some like slight back and period and kind of pain since, um, but I don't know if that'll lead to anything. It probably won't. Um, so basically, yeah, it's just a case of 
um, seeing if anything happens in the meantime, which I don't think it will, um, but then getting induced on Sunday. So the way I'm going to be induced will depend on if my cervix is opened at all um, or softened or anything like that um, on Sunday. If it has, then she's going to do the balloon induction. Um, catheter. A little balloon catheter thing up there. Um, and if it hasn't, then they're going to do the um, pessary. Um, so, yeah, so potentially, like, we could be meeting baby on Sunday or it might take a few days. Um, it just depends how quickly it would trigger things to happen. Because um, for some people, it triggers things to happen very much, like, straight away. And for some people, it can take quite a few days to have any effect. So, so yeah, it was quite... Uh, an important um, appointment. Obviously, it's disappointing that baby's not grown quite um, as much as we'd have liked, um, and it has tapered off on the chart. Um, but it's exciting that we'll get to meet the little one soon. They're not too concerned. Um, everything else is good. Heartbeat is good. Um, like the cord st still seems to be doing its job. Plus, and it seems to be doing its job. It's, ju it's just a tiny baby. Um, so yeah, my next update will be Sunday. Hello, it is the first day of spring um, and we are on the way to the hospital for me to be induced. Oh um, my God. I know. So we don't know what, ki what type of induction I'll be having yet. Um, I think I said in the last one, if my cervix has softened a little bit um, or dilated ever so slightly, they're going to try and do the balloon. It's called a Foley bulb, I think the technical term for it. Um, but if not, I'll be having the pessary and I'll have to stay. So we've got all our hospital bags and that with us and we're all packed and pretty much ready to go. And then it's just a case of seeing um, how fast it takes effect and how quickly the contractions come in. And I'm really scared because they're gonna hurt, but I'm gonna try and breathe, relax, um, and just honestly tell myself that you can do it. Um, but whether or not I can, we'll, we'll see. But I'll do an update after we find out what type of induction I'll be having and the, how I found the hole. Um, process and stuff like that but we're both nervous because we could have a baby by the end could of today could be a little bun's birthday today for all we know we don't know how fast it's going to take effect like it just depends how fast my cervix wants to dilate and because some people it's only a matter of hours and then it it just happens really fast and then for some people it can still take a day or two so um we're going to be meeting the little baby soon. Finishing off my food. <laughs> Watching a bit of the uh, athletics. <laughs> so we're now in our own room. I thought I'd do a quick update. So the pessary was removed like four, four or five hours. 
was after it was put in because baby didn't really respond very well to it so we brought it down to the labour room and they put me on a saline drip thing um, and they basically given me the option of either a c-section or to try another pessary so we're gonna go for trying another pessary but I'm just feeling a little bit sad because obviously you want things to go a certain way and they don't always go that certain way um, so we're basically waiting to see a consultant to see what their advice is but I'm hoping to give the pessary another shot and then obviously if it doesn't work then a c-section it is but Pupy seems to be happy at the moment now that the pessary is out um, but I just think it's a good idea to the phone cut me off um, but yeah um, we're gonna try again I don't know how soon maybe in the morning but at least we've got our own like little room now this is what it looks like um, but yeah just trying to think positive like it doesn't matter how the baby comes as long as it's healthy and happy but just when you have your heart set on a certain birth and you don't go that way it's just a bit disappointing but we'll see what happens so quite the update i'm talking quiet because they can probably hear me outside this room but the there was quite a lot of information to take in yesterday probably have to do this in parts because it keeps cutting me off but I'm having a c-section in an hour or two it's 11 at the moment and she said that they had a slot um, early this afternoon she, she said probably around lunchtime so I'm, I'm guessing it's like 12 or 1 um, so yeah I'm not having the birth that I wanted but the most important thing is how baby um how baby is um and the health and happiness of this baby at the end of the day so i had the pro pest pessary thing put in yesterday and baby immediately didn't like it its heart rate kept decelerating um like quite a lot um and then there was like still periods where it weren't really moving much um so it wasn't responding well to it so four hours later i had it removed um, and the doctor examined me and I wasn't dilated at all or she, there was no um, space to break my waters or anything like that. So she advised that I go for a planned C-section, um, especially because of my heart condition um, and also because baby, we don't want to distress it any further. Um, and then a second doctor got, got a second opinion and she basically said the same thing but she said in the morning what I can do is if you really want um, a vaginal delivery I can assess you in the morning um, and obviously if things have progressed then great we'll let them progress um, but overnight I had a few tightenings some period pains lost my, my bloody show um, but she assessed me in the morning and I still wasn't dilated at all, there was no change. So she basically said, I think you should go for a planned C-section. We can make it really relaxed, really chilled. Um, we can monitor you in terms of your heart condition, um, can get baby out, um, less distress. Um, so, because she said, Obviously, you could try and, and wait and have a, um, a natural delivery, but it could distress the baby and then it could end up in an emergency C-section and I really don't want that because people's experience of emergency C-sections tend to be quite different to planned ones. So, we basically had to get our head around the fact that we're not having the birth that we want, but we're going to get to meet our baby today and it's 11.11 right now, so that's a good sign. So I've put a bit of makeup on um, to make myself feel a bit better because I looked a bit rough before and I want some nice photos for when baby comes. But yeah, my numbers are scored and, uh, ooh, and I'm, I can't drive for six weeks and I'm not allowed to pick the baby up on my own and stuff like that. So it is going to be a challenge. But obviously it's not an easy recovery when you push the baby out your vag either. So 
Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, but I'm just so excited that we're going to meet this little one today. We're going to find out what we're having, because um, it's been a surprise this whole time. But yeah, so my next update, I'll probably have a baby in my arms or next to me. Oh my god! <laughs> We're ready to go. I've got my sexy <laughs> stockings on. Mike's got his scrubs on. I'm Jamie. <laughs> and uh, put on a bit of spirited away for good vibes. <laughs> See you on the other side. So I thought I'd do um, an outro of my birth vlog. Um, I feel like the birth vlog's a little bit all over the place. It's quite hard to piece together what it was that was going on. We was always going to some sort of an appointment and I was trying to keep updates and stuff like that. Not only to put in a birth vlog, but for me to look back on um, post birth. Um, because yeah, it was all such a blur. I wanted to remember. Um, what had gone on at what time in my pregnancy um, so yeah I'm not pregnant anymore I've got a baby don't know if you can see the Moses basket in the back Oscar is in there so we had a little boy he's called Oscar Miles Parkinson um, he um, the basic gist is he stopped growing in my belly a few weeks ago so he's it's like he it's like he's premature but he was born at 39 weeks and four days but he was weighing um the the size of a baby that really would have been born maybe um six or five to six weeks um before their due date so he was a really small four pounds 15 ounces i did have growth scans um leading up to the birth and they overestimated how much he weighed but they did have a lot of difficulties weighing his torso, his stomach area, um, due to his positioning or he his hands were covering his stomach. So three different um, sonographers, is that what they're called, um, had difficulties um, measuring his stomach. Um, so I think that um, threw off the measurements. Um, but the last growth scan, they predicted that he weighed five and a half pounds and he ended up weighing a pound under five pounds so they were off by half a pound but he came out um fighting thriving we were able to go home after 24 hours they, were, they had no concerns about his health he was really strong and um, feeding really well and since he's actually um pretty much back at his birth weight so they're really happy with that um, but yeah, the basic gist of the birth, I had the intention, um, as a first time parent, you always kind of have a, a, a plan in your head of how your labour is going to go. And my plan was that I was going to have a natural um, birth through the vagina, push, all that jazz, kind of like what you see on TV, what you see in films. They don't really show C-sections very often, do they, on telly, but I had this vision of being a badass and pushing and I had lots of preparation raspberry leaf tea trying to soften my cervix and um, the perineal massage and all that which obviously now I didn't need to do but I didn't know that at the time and um, so I had that plan in mind and um, I had an induction on the Sunday they put in the propess pessary thing it's like a flat tampon kind of thing and 
um, Oscar didn't really respond very well to it at all and his heart heart rate was um, dropping. So they basically told me we need to remove it and this was only four hours after it had been put in and it really needs 24 hours to take full effect to dilate the cervix. Um, so the consultant advised me to have a plan C section but me and Mike kind of were still going after the dream of having um, a normal birth a standard birth um, so we were like is there not any way that we can try again or see if things progress see if I do dilate a little bit so you can break my waters um, and the consultant said yeah we can do that um, so in the morning they checked I wasn't dilated at all I'd had some contractions like period kind of pains I'd lost my um, mucus plug bloody show kind of thing but there'd been no progress so she was like, I can't even get up there to break your waters. So a planned C-section is what we've advised. Um, and obviously I was a bit devastated at the time, but I got my head around it that the most important thing was the health of this baby and the health of me. So in so they pretty much a few hours later whisked us into the theatre. Um, and it was a really positive experience. The, consultants, the doctors, um, everyone in that theatre was so lovely and so thorough at explaining everything. Um, it was really relaxed, they were taking their time. Um, my fiancé Mike was in there the whole time. Um, there was a little bit of difficulty with the, the spinal injection because at first the, the anaesthetic didn't numb the right area so I could feel him putting in the spinal and oh my god it was so painful um I literally thought I was going to pass out and I was like I'm going to be sick I'm going to be sick and they passed me a sick bucket and I wasn't sick thankfully he put in more anesthetic and it numbed the right area and they put it in and as soon as I laid down I felt fine but for that split second I was like oh my god like they're not going to be able to numb me or they're going to have to put me under because like he was just putting it in and I could feel it and it was horrible but after that um it was really pleasant um it was just so strange having them rummage around in your stomach like because you can feel touch and pressure but no pain and it was just like the most bizarre feeling like you li literally can't I can't explain what it's like to have someone like diving around in your guts and your stomach like oh it, it was weird like like I can't say it was uncomfortable or anything it just felt so unnatural but um it that 10 minutes it took them to take out Oscar felt like a lifetime um, and me and Mike were just like so nervous and I ended up bawling my eyes out before Oscar even came out and Mike felt emotional because obviously we was about to meet our child and we didn't know what the gender was um, and then I could hear like a little cry, like a tiny little cry and then that set me off again. And then they weighed him and that's when we found out that he was really tiny and um, they checked him over. Mike um, cut the cord after after delaying it a little bit um, and he was put on me and it was just magical. And in that moment it didn't really matter how he'd got into the world, like I kind of was like I don't really care that I didn't have the birth that I wanted, it was really positive really beautiful me and mike just were in love um and yeah um and then 24 hours later um they sent us home um and yeah it was lovely and yeah we've been home for just over a week now and obviously it's been really challenging really hard a huge life adjustment but i feel like we are smashing it and we're so in love with each other and our baby and it's the start of a new journey for us um so yeah i thought i'd close up the vlog and explain a little bit what happened um because yeah it's a bit of a mishmash this vlog um i didn't really intend to do a proper birth vlog i just wanted to film little bits and bobs for my own um viewing at a later date um but yeah i thought i'd put it up um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it uh nevertheless um none, nonetheless nevertheless oh god knows still got baby brain um one thing is like it's so weird not being pregnant anymore um i do miss my bump um i do feel like i'm doing quite well in the um going back department i am really sore down there like 
the first couple of days was really sore, really hard to get around, felt like I was ripping into every time I turned. Um, but now I'm feeling so much better and it, it's like 10 days later. So I can't really complain at the um, recovery. Um, so that's positive as well, just in case anyone's due to have a C-section and worried about the recovery side of things. Like, just try and move around as much as you can, but obviously rest when you can as well. Like, it kind of needs to be a bit of 50-50. Make sure you've got people around you to support you. Take your pain medication. Like, don't feel like you have to be a tough cookie. Like, if you need it, you need it. Um, so, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with my little boy. I can't believe it's a boy when I thought it was a girl the whole time. Um, typical. Um, I'm not psychic after all. But, yeah, I know this is a really long video. So, if you made it to this point, I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll film some stuff soon, like um, probably with baby Oscar in it, maybe. Um, so, yeah, um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.